An accident of epic proportions transpired on the morning of March 17th, 2023. Aster, the technology-obsessed squirrel, had finished construction on a VR system with no other on the planet. Using a 100% secure network of USB cables, solar panels, and zombified compact computers, he created an alternate dimension known only as the Mainframe. His success was largely owed to his helpers. Val, the VR system designer, a third dragon with the ability to weave worlds from a state of nothing to something with the power of a demigod. And unity, probably. And let's not forget Tech Wolf, whose lupine navigation was totally irreplaceable in setting up the mainframe network. Also, he provided Tupperware containers full of acorns. Aster appreciates Tupperware containers full of acorns. But all was not well with this technological escapade. Aster's mainframe turned out to be more powerful, more diabolical, more mischievously sinister than he ever imagined. Aster, Pegwolf, and Val were pulled into the VR system itself. Their minds and bodies transported into a digital world with no chance of escape. Unless... Kettle discovered this vast array of VR gear laying scattered about the ground. She knew that she must recruit her own technical experts to chase after her squirrel friend. She called in Raz Raccoon, an expert in rigging terrible computers to perform amazingly complicated tasks. Raz Raccoon would like to deny all accusations of zombifying contacts. And to fulfill the most vitally important part of diving into the mainframe and saving her friends from destruction, she hired Tom to braid her hair and dye it the appropriate color a task which he obliged alongside providing decadent cheeses. And now, you must join Petal and her crew. Navigate an ever-shifting mainframe of electric dance competitions, fursuit fanfare, and live-streamed art. Find Aster and escape this melting mainframe once and for all. Ready to find out how? We take you now, live, to the main frame itself, where convention chair Major Coyote and creative director Hero Coyote are waiting to brief you on your mission and welcome you to Blue Ridge Fur Fair 2023 Mainframe Meltdown. Hello, Fur Fair fans. Welcome to the Mainframe. I'm Major, your sufficiently dusty convention chair Coyote. And I'm Taro. Also, Canis Latrans, judging by the Dorito ears on my head. I'm the creative director of this establishment. Well, the wait is finally over, and we are pleased to welcome you all to Blue Ridge Fur Fair 2023 Mainframe Meltdown. Presented to you virtually for your ultimate convenience. Blue Ridge Fur Fair is entering its fourth year in existence now, and whether you've been here from the very start or this is your first time supporting our mountain convention, we couldn't be more excited to have you here. Be sure to send us a yip, yap, or yap in the comments if you've been with Blue Ridge Fur Fair since year one, way back in 2020. And be sure to let us know if you're one of Aster's loyal Squirrel Scouts or one of Petal's Possum Pals. Hopefully that's it's not to <laughs> BRFF circa 2022 to ask. Now, you may tell yourself, this is not my physical convention. And you may ask yourself, oh my gosh, how did I get in the mainframe? Well, to explain why we find ourselves in a digital convention this year, we first need to go back to the beginning. To the beginning of time and space. And how that far? Blue Ridge Fur Fair launched in March 2020 at the Doubletree Biltmore in Asheville with Blue Ridge Pro uh, Fur Fair Prom Weekend. Special guest of honor, Orlando Fox. As with any new venture, we had no idea what to expect for attendance. We 
thought we'd be lucky to see 300 people attend a new furry convention in Western North Carolina. Now listen up, everyone. Your first guideline for wilderness survival is the 6-2-1 rule. Six showers, two meals, and one hour of sleep. Right. Six showers and one hour of sleep? What a surprise when we ended up packing that venue with over 600 attendees. And flash forward to the year 2021, and that which we shall not speak of held the world in its clutches. So it was decided that Blue Ridge Fur Fair Retro Revive would be held completely online. Uh, year 1.5, if you will. Year 2 proper kicked off in March 2022 with Blue Ridge Fur Fair, The Great Outdoors, celebrating our mountain setting at the Crown Plaza Resort. Uh, guess how many attendees showed up this time? 883. Mm. Gasp. <laughs> Major gasp. Uh, absolutely outstanding uh, attendance. We were floored by that. Uh, did not expect that kind of response. But even in our second proper year, we, mex uh, we maxed out the expanded rooms provided by our new venue. You might find it remarkable to know that a very high ratio of those attendees were in fact fursuiters. 270 in total, at least. Enough fluff, fur, and scales to fill up the entire main events ballroom, and then some. Uh, apologies to those in the back, uh, all six pixels of you. But thanks to your love and support for this event, year after year, it is now clearly apparent that Blue Ridge Fur Fair needs to continue to grow. So we, uh, we at Blue Ridge Fur Fair and uh, NCAS have been working hard to find a new venue, a new home for our uh, a wonderful little calm. Uh, but in the meantime... Now that we find ourselves transported into this digital main frame, what kind of activities are in store for the weekend? We've got a stellar collection of panels coursing through the main frame this weekend. First one being opening ceremonies. On that account, thanks for being here. <laughs> but what even better events are just around the corner? Our programming for Blue Ridge Fur Fair encompasses most fandom interests. Are you a furry that's into the art side of the fandom? Our Blue Ridge Fur Fair exclusive, the Anthro Artist Olympics, returns for another year tonight at 7 p.m. Have your reference sheets ready, because we'll be selecting a large volume of fursonas to be drawn by artists in a series of 10-minute diabolical challenges. This event is a Blue Ridge Fur Fair exclusive, and at the Great Outdoors, over 300 furries attended. The Anthro Artist Olympics uses highly skilled artists to accomplish 10-minute prompts, but if you want to see this concept hilariously flipped on its head, then turn in Saturday at 2 p.m. for Nailed It, presented by Mikey. Much like the Netflix show of the same name, but with a twist. Watch as non-artists attempt to recreate pieces of art while our judges tear them to pieces. Mikey tells us that you may cry just a little bit, but overall, you'll have a blast. Our main event for art lovers, Sunday at 3.30 p.m., features everyone's favorite purple deer, Lilac. Join her on a quest to create a fursona entirely out of thin air. That's right, 
out of oblivion, piece by piece, using whatever prompts you provide her. The results are promised to be gorgeous, cool, and perhaps downright frightening. Perhaps <laughs> fursuiting content is your favorite aspect of the fandom. You won't want to miss Remote Controlled Fursuiter Saturday at 6 p.m. with Mikey. Watch as fursuiters are given prompts and then forced to act them out accordingly. On the note of fursuiters, have you ever attended a convention and had a terrible view of the fursuit parade? Well, that's no problem here. So don't worry your paws about it. Everyone has the best view from the comfort of our Twitch stream. Get ready to see what sort of furs are swirling through the mainframe this year with our virtual fursuit parade Sunday at 5 p.m. Perhaps you're the sort of furry that's more into the dance side of the fandom. Well, you're going to want to make sure to tune into the biggest event of the weekend, the Blue Ridge Fur Fair Dance Competition, Saturday night, 7 p.m. Perhaps all of these fanciful mainframe meltdown style games are a little too busy for you and you want some old fashioned game show excitement. Well, you can play along in chat with some live contestants and fan favorites such as Showcase Showdown and This or That in Game Show Meltdown Sunday at 2 p.m. hosted by Dusk. One more thing I noticed looking over panels this year is that Blue Blue Ridge Fur Fair 2024 is very centered around do-it-yourself instruction. How to create your own music with Hexagon Jacks tonight at 6 p.m. An introduction to streaming with Jasper Saturday at 4 p.m. And a Twitch-specific streaming panel with Snacko Racco on Sunday at 11.30 a.m. But are you the type of furry that enjoys the tactile? Perhaps you'd actually like to craft along in your own home this Sunday with a skilled and crafty coyote. And I'm of course talking about nature. Blue Ridge Fur Fair has always been a celebration of creation. From the art that makes our fandom so very unique to the music that makes our hearts race during convention raves and everything in between. For a moment, I want to talk about the makers who bring our community's visions to life. I'm talking about fursuiting, both the amazing alchemists who create the spellbinding costumes and the performers who bring those characters into our world. Join me Sunday at 1230 as I try to capture just a fraction of that magic in just over an hour. We'll be working on creating our own canine uh, head bases out of EVA foam. And if you want to follow along, all you need is some, uh, some EVA, five or six millimeters, something to heat it up with, a uh, hairdryer will work, but if you have a heat gun, that'd be even better. A sharp knife, some paper, a printer to print the patterns out on, and uh, some glue. I like barge uh, contact cement, but hot glue does just fine in the pinch. The pattern can be found at the QR code here. We'll be going through all the steps from patterning all the way to gluing, how to make your very own uh, EVA head base. If you've been interested in trying your paws at crafting, I think this is a great place to start. No convention worth half a tail shake would be complete without dances, and this weekend is no different. Join us tonight and tomorrow night from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. as we introduce eight amazing DJs to the stage for pulse-pounding music sets ready to rock this mainframe. Chill with us in Mixcloud or set up your rigs to stamp your paws in VR chat. Links are here and on our Blue Ridge Fur Fair website. Ima kicks off the night with us at 10 p.m. with electronic beats, perfect to shake the gremlins out of these old circuits. Now, since we've been drawn into this virtual realm to help look for our pal Aster, I'm sure you all might want to know how you can help free our intrepid park ranger. The mainframe is a dangerous place, but the more of us that are here in virtual reality keeping it together, the longer Pedal has to help get him safe. But wait, I do not have any VR equipment, and therefore I cannot join. Nonsense! 
did you know that you can play VR chat without any sort of virtual reality equipment? In fact, it works on desktop in flat for you to download on Steam for free. If you need any further inspiration or assistance on how VR chat works, be sure to join Jasper tomorrow at 1 p.m. for Intro to VR Chat. So join us in VR Chat for our nightly dances, as well as plenty of meetups and panel streams. All VR instances will be run through our VR Chat group, so make sure you join up and don't miss out. The link to that group and our full VR schedule is here, and it can be found on our website. From the Blue Ridge Fur Fair website, you can find the How to BRFF 23 tab, where you'll find all of the information you need to join this weekend's virtual festivities. You can also find information on our Dealer's Den, which this year will be held in Discord. If you haven't already joined our Discord server, go ahead and hop on over so you can take part in the fun there. From Discord, you can chat with other attendees, as well as browse the wares of our 16 amazing dealers, offering a wide variety of products, including artwork, prints, uh, pins, apparel, fursuit parts, plushies, and so, so much more. Finally, I'd like to give a heartfelt thank you to all the people who worked so hard to make this weekend possible. Now, this is normally where I'd ask for a round of applause for the staff, but since we're all virtual, and I doubt wild clicking of mice would do much, sorry Tom, please throw your love in the chat and save that big round of applause for when we can all get back together in person. A huge thank you to Rem, who built our amazing VR chat world, SnapEye for his help with these opening and closing ceremonies, Tazia and Ryu for leading this weekend's stream team, our amazing art, dealers, and community relations teams, and everyone else at Team NCAS. I wish I had time to name you all. Taro and I are so lucky to work with such an amazing group of people on BRFF and our sister con, Bewhiskered. If you'd like to know more about our team, join Max Saturday at noon for the NCAST Showcase. For now, so we don't keep you waiting any longer, let's have an awoo and chat as we kick off this weekend with Blue Ridge Fur Fair 2023 Mainframe Meltdown. Thank you, Mainframers. Good luck.